In today's video, we'll be making the ugliest school in Animal Crossing. We will also be making the worst homes for villagers too. This is part three of our series, and now let's make some bad designs. Oh, Bro. and only a few of you guys are actually subscribed, so a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. I'm excited to get back to it, guys. Let's go ahead and make these animal houses look terrible. We do not care. All right, let's go ahead and head over there. Do got his cup of coffee already this morning. Like, oh yeah, this tastes so good. Yo, take me over there. Wow, looks like we got some new people people over here. This dude looks really mad. I would not mess with him. <laughs> this person over here is just enjoying that little ice cream. They're staring at me like, what do you want? You want to do something with that ice cream? They look pretty chill. But why are you wearing like a nice dress and stuff out here? That's what I want to know. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Bro, this squirrel's eyes, I don't know if you saw that, like, protruded out of its face. I don't know what is up with this squirrel. I found this on the ground. Glowing moss balloon. What? I gotta see this. <laughs> A glowing moss balloon. Okay, I don't know who would want that, but all right. Maybe Shrek? What are you doing in my swamp? Let's see what they got. Ooh, I like this bathtub or hot tub, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I like this. This touchscreen cash register. I'm buying that. I'm also going to buy this. Yep, thank you. Ooh, I'm going to buy this silver confetti blower. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Hello, can we go to work, please? I'm ready to work. Back to work! Okay, then please change into your uniform. Ta-da. I've got something a little different for you this time. Remember when we looked at that empty facility together? Well, we got necessary permits to turn it into a school. Yay, waste of my time. It is. <laughs> it is waste of your time. I was very impressed with the permitting process. It was much quicker than I expected. This is an important moment in the history of Paradise Planning, our very first facility. That's why I need you to help putting it together. Let's head over now, shall we? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have all the desk faced the wrong way, if it lets me do that. And here we are. Not that we had to go that far. Yeah, it's right next door, bro. Now I think we should start by freshening up the exterior. It could really use some personality. I'd like you to do your best for now. If you don't like something, you can always change it later. Oh, okay. So I like the blue roof. Actually, let's make the school very depressing. Black door and then black bell. Is this okay for the exterior? Yup. All right, let's head inside and see what we have to do in here. Who knows? Well, this is a pretty small school. It needs a lot of work in here too. I'm glad you're helping out with this. So first thing, a school and these chairs, desks, right? When you're ready, press that and then take order. Okay. Although room size start feeling cramped if we bring too much furniture. Okay, they're just teaching me how to do some of this stuff. While working on facilities, note that the minimum amount of each furniture type you'll need to place. Okay, so we have to have one teacher's desk, so we have two desks and four chairs. Let me see if that is correct. Yes, okay. I'm gonna have to make, make the students sit on the complete opposite side, so they're not even close to each other. They're just on the opposite side of everything. We're gonna give them random chairs, too. Like, we're gonna give one of them a den chair, and then another one a folding chair, and then two school chairs. This one will be facing the wrong way. The teacher is going to be sitting down the whole time. And then that one's facing the wall. We're going to have a huge boom box in this school. We got to have a urinal in here and a toilet. Just sitting in the back of the classroom for no reason. You know, it goes well with it. The teacher doesn't even teach. We're just going to do a TV with a VCR. <laughs> couple of gnomes. We'll do a couple of clocks as well. I just picked some random flooring and stuff. The gnome will sit right on top of it. And we'll put one on the kids' chairs too. Obviously, we have to have that face the wall. We'll have a bathroom over there and a toilet over here. Okay, we put a blackboard or a green board, whatever you want to call it. We put that up there. We'll have one locker, but it faces the wall so you can't even use it. And we'll have that there. Awesome. All right, we got to clean up a bunch of this stuff, like the toilets <laughs> and the lawn gnomes. And time for a picture. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. There's our picture. <laughs> oh, don't you love it? Okay, we are all done. I'm finished. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> Choosing a teacher. Uh, what? Sure, you can be a teacher. Oh, we have to name the school. Yeah, I got a good name. These nuts. Not a school. <laughs> I like it. You definitely want to name it not a school. Yep. All right. Awesome. We gave it a name. Yeah, look at them all in here. They're just like, uh, they're facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. Look at these like facing the lockers. There's a lawn gnome literally in front of the desk on top of them. That's awesome. There's <laughs> just a random TV, not even plugged into the wall. Like <laughs> how there's just a urinal over there too. It's not even all the way up against the wall. It's just like in the middle of the floor type of thing. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, we gotta take a picture outside. Okay. Does anyone have a camera here? And now we're gathered here to take a special celebrity photo of Nada School. Thank you very much. The island is a little bit more beautiful today thanks to Grant and Nada School. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the future holds for its students and teachers. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge decorating Nada School. Grant, a few words? I'm saying some words. Thank you. And last but not least, let's take a celebrity photo. What do you think of this photo? It's perfect. It was perfect. 
Well, that was interesting. We made a school called not a school. Can't believe we built the ugliest school in Animal Crossing. I want to take a peek inside. What a good looking school. It's so nice. I bet they do well even in my worst objects. I was impressed with how polished everything looks too. I agree. Our school is top notch thanks to Grant's work. Who said you can't learn anything in paradise? No one ever said that. I heard that Lonnie taught you her little chick about resizing rooms. So that means wow. Oh, and if you guys are enjoying the video, then a like on the video would be fantastic. It goes a long way and it helps me grow. Please leave a like like as we're trying to get 13 likes on today's video. 25,000 pokey for doing the job? Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for the money. Oh, by the way, let me know if you ever want to freshen up the school for remodel. No, it's going to stay like that forever. We are not touching that school again. Uh, let's keep working. Let's see who's out here. This guy says, I want to keep it simple. Make it all either black or white. Okay. Hey, any chance you can point me to someone that works here? Oh, that's you? You work with vacation homes? It uh, seems that I came to the right place then. Your timing is perfect. This vacation home business seems real tempting and I could use a little help. Yeah, let's chat. Really outstanding. This is going to be great. I can feel it. I'm ready for you when you are. Nay. This dude's just like, Brr. thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Nay. Now, here's what I'm thinking for my vacation home. <laughs> So a couch and like a coffee table. That's it. Maybe that's all I'll put in there. Who knows? Okay, let's pick where he's going to live at. Since he wants everything to be black, we're going to put him right here where there's cherry blossom trees. Not bad. I'm starting to look forward to this. Nay. So we're going to head over there and we're going to decorate the exterior first. Yeah, his house is going to be all black, but he's surrounded by trees. <laughs> there's a race car bed. What? You ain't first. You're last. Ooh, he wants a few iced coffees. I think he'll like that. Picture of himself just for no reason. He honestly doesn't have much we can put out here. A couple of mama pandas, soup kettle, a frying pan, squidding spaghetti, stand mixer, throwback skull radio, a couple of TVs, whole DJ turntable. Yeah, I'm gonna make it where there's just like a bunch of stuff on the ground, no matter what. You just walk here, you're like, why does this dude have 50 TVs outside? <laughs> and there's no furniture. He just has the TVs. He just likes having the TVs outside. That's all. Literally a hedge that goes nowhere. Wherever I can put the hedge, I'm just gonna put it down. <laughs> there we go. Looks all good, huh? All right, let's go ahead and do this inside of his house. Okay, we're gonna have the couch up against the wall, but we're gonna rotate it so it's facing the wall. And the table right behind it, because that makes sense. We always have to put the poster of himself up there. Get him the ugliest flooring and the ugliest wall. I mean, it looks like a diner. Some diner. It was the Starlight Diner. Let's get him this race car bed, <laughs> you know, because he loves race cars. DJ's turntable. Let's get him a couple of studio lights. And by couple, I mean an entire wall of them. And on the other wall, we'll have all these chest door plates. We'll have a bunch of these ceiling lights, too. Yeah, I think he's going to be fine on lighting. <laughs> Look at how many lights are in here. Same thing. He's not going to be able to use that. We'll put the bed right next to the couch, which doesn't make any sense at all. Actually, I like this wall a little bit more. We'll do this wall because everything pops. We'll do a TV just in the middle of the floor, a random cool side table, a couple of floor lights. We'll put the TV in front of the turntable so he can never use it. I'm liking this so far. There's the picture. That looks good, huh? <laughs> yep, we're all done. Huh? Vacation comb's coming along. Is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. There you go, chump. I'm excited. I hardly know what to do with my Myself. Can't wait to look around the place. There's not much to look around at. <laughs> There's just so many lights in here. Why does he have so many lights? <laughs> You tell me that. He's like, huh, I like this couch, but I can't really sit there because there's a table in the way. And then I want to watch TV, but I can't. And he has to turn off so many lights. Look at that. He's just sitting in the wall, staring at a light. The DJ turntable, he can't even use that either because of the TV being in the way. It's on the wrong side. He's like, huh, my electric bill's going to be through the roof, isn't it? That was awesome. Cool. We got his house done. Oh, we can finally do the Amiibos. Yes. 9,000 pokey. Okay, thank you. I'll work a little longer. Okay, so you want to keep going? Can we chat before you head out? I want to show you something. Look on top of the counter. Spot anything new? That's an amiibo scanner. I have a relative who's good with machines. When I told him things were going well with my company, he sent it over as a gift. That amiibo scanner is going to be a critical part of our business. Using Animal Crossing series amiibo, you can contact clients. Okay. Which I have some that we will use right now. Contact someone. There we go. We got it. For Raymond. Because <laughs> Raymond thinks he's all that in a bag of chips, and he's not. So we're going to give him the ugliest house. Oh yeah, this is going to make a lot of people mad, but yeah. Raymond, you're getting the ugliest house. <laughs> he's like, Blossom, I'm sure I got all this handled. So I don't have to do anything, but just in case, here's what I'm thinking. Really, bro? That's what you want. A sewing machine, a table, and like some stand to sell it out of. Bro, I'm going to give you the ugliest house. Yeah, let's pick where you can live away from everyone. You're going to live in the ice biome, okay? Yeah, you're going to literally live on like an ice island, so this will eventually melt. <laughs> I'm glad I have such an exclusive location to offer me. I can't wait to head over to the site. Yeah, exclusive, all right. Yeah, we'll make your outside look interesting, too. <laughs> bro, the monkey literally has earmuffs on. Why? All right, let's 
let's see what we got to put out here. Oh yeah, I already see it. Let's do it. A bunch of plants, some shopping baskets. We'll put up one sign that says for free because he's going to be selling his house as soon as he finds out what I'm putting in his house. And let's put some other plants in here and some other plants. Awesome. That looks perfect. But we're going to take this free sign and put it right over here. Wait. I can move the entire house? Bro, I didn't know I could do that. I have to get rid of some of these. There we go. We just had to make a path so we can get in the house. That's all. But now I know that we can move the house. Uh, we're going to have some more fun with that on the next one. What is this, a wall partition? What kind of strings did you pull together in a vacation? Only two rooms. <laughs> so that's cool. There's going to be partition walls now. Oh, that makes sense. I love the idea, but I'll decide whether or not to use a grant. Oh, so I can move the walls around too. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to put everything on one side of the wall. All the stuff he wants. His sewing kit we're gonna put up against the wall and then we'll put the table in front of it and then we'll put this over here so he can't even use it there we go it's boxed in you can't even use it bro now since everyone loves raymond at the show get it we're gonna put so many pictures of himself up here not just one a bunch because he's obsessed with himself a bunch of security cameras a bunch of these glass stained lights i mean a bunch the entire ceiling is filled with glass paint lights let's give him this wall and this ugly red with it Ugh. a banker's lamp Okay, for no reason. We want that. A glass showcase, too. Pants press. He just has a bunch of these, too, laying out. Obviously, we have to give him some, some plants. And a couple of umbrella stands. One random chair, too. And then another clothes rack. It's actually hard to see some of this stuff because of all the stupid lights. I'm gonna give him a couple of phones and a bunch of shopping baskets. And then one touchscreen register to ring out his stuff. Okay, cool. I love it. Hey! I just found out if you hold the A button, he can actually clean it really fast and put a bunch of sparkles on it. I did not know that. Perfect picture. There we go. All right, Buster, your house is all done. It's ready. I hope you enjoy it. Bro, there's just like 500 shopping bags or carts or baskets, whatever you want to call it, all just laying around. There's so many lights. It's like, oh yeah, let me see the color of this shirt. But I can hardly tell what the real color is because there's so many lights. He has pants press everywhere. There's a thousand cameras. 500 pictures of his face on the wall and he can't even get to his equipment back there because it's surrounded by plants and all of his other stuff he wants to sell is surrounded by plants so when a customer comes in they're just like uh what do I do like if you walked into an actual place like this you would just be baffled <laughs> that was so funny that's very funny he's asking me if I'm going bungee jumping bro is that a threat see a chump see a chump another 9,000 pokey thank you so much you keep getting better and better at this I need to step up my game I almost forgot I've got some can you play out your phone? Uh, sure, I guess. What are you giving me? Bro, that's a picture of your mom. And sent. Now you've got the DIY recipe for a partition wall. You can use that recipe for some of your own house, too. Thanks, I guess. Uh, let's do one more. I still have some more amiibo cards, too, so we'll do some of those. I've got the perfect amiibo card. Let's go ahead and do it. For Wolfgang! Let's invite Wolfgang over. Hey, this is Wolfgang. What do you want? Hey, now, ain't you calling from Paradise Planning? What's that, vacation home for me? Well, didn't you say so? I'd love to, huh? Yeah, you know, all the mean guys talk the same. Now here's what I was thinking for my vacation home. Guitar, an amp, and some lights. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Let's put him in the desert by a bunch of cactuses. Not bad. I'm gonna move his house around. He has to walk on sand that's like probably super hot right now because he has no shoes on. Okay, so you can't rotate the houses, but we'll put the house in the corner. <laughs> the unironic shirts, the skull shirts, if you guys know, you know. All right, he's gonna have a bunch of just water, a couple of drink machines, and this dude uses a bunch of garbage. Oh, wait, wait, there's actual garbage bags. Yeah, let's do that. I'm the trash man. I gotta move some of them because we have to still be able to get in the house. Then we're just gonna put a drum set out here and some boxes too. And just a big sign that says we're open. There's the outside of your house just filled with trash bags. <laughs> like, why would you want that? But he just has it. <laughs> just a bunch of trash bags outside. Okay, let's do the inside of your house now. Put the guitar all the way in the corner and then the amp in the other side of the corner so it doesn't even work. And then these lights, sure, we can put them right there. Same thing, we always have to put the picture of himself on the wall. He's gonna have a wall with a bunch of bottles, yep. Oh, a bunch of disco balls? <laughs> Spam this house with disco balls. Stadium wall, a sand lot, yeah, that makes sense. Same thing, he's gonna have a bunch of trash bags in his house, a couple of water bottles, a random bed, and his bed's gonna be surrounded by the trash bags. I think that'll be pretty funny. An unironic skull plate wall thingy. Put a couple of those up. And some hanging lights. Yeah, the crowd isn't cheering him on, they're actually throwing all this stuff up on stage. 
staged for him all these water bottles and the bags of trash cans. They threw it at him. Another big sign that says we're open. <laughs> a couple of studio lights as well. And another drum set for no reason. Did you touch my drum set? And then just a few more trash bags. Cool, I think we got it. Go ahead and clean up some of this. Make the trash bags shine. Cool, bud. You got that all cleaned up if you want to call it that. There's your picture of your house. All right, you ready to see it? <laughs> yeah, it's ready for you. <laughs> There's just trash bags everywhere. <laughs> bottles on the wall. There's just bottles on the ground too. There's a random drum set that's not even close to the guitar. The amp is all the way across on the other side of the house. He has a bed, but it's surrounded by trash bags. <laughs> he has to literally step through trash in order to get to his bed. And then there's like 500 disco balls at the top just spinning around, make, making him nauseous because of all the light that's in there. <laughs> there's just a big sign that says we're open like it's a restaurant or something and it's not. That was really funny. Look at that. You really do know what you're doing. <sighs> now that's all done, why not sit a spell and cool your heels? What does that even mean? Nah, I'm going, bro. I already took a picture. Another 9,000 pokies. Sweet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun. We were able to take that school and make it the ugliest school in Animal Crossing. We were also able to make the animal's house is very, very ugly. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace.